Hello everyone, and welcome to part 9 of how to make Pong in Unity. So, in this video, we're just going to publish our game. However, first, I found a bug where, let's say you were in a player 1 or 2 wins window, and you decide to play again. When in your game view, when the ball goes past one of the sides, it will not increment the score for the first time. That is because our statement for can add score is true when the ball's position is greater than 21, and then immediately after, it becomes false. So when you decide to play again, this variable is false, so the first point isn't counted. The way you fix that is just make sure it's being initialized to true every time this ball controller script is loaded in the scene. So put it in the start function and I'll make it so the score is tracked like normal. Now that our game is fully polished and bug free, we can build our game. What you need to do is go into build settings and then here you get a list of different platforms. You're mostly going to be using the Stell option because Web Player will go away in future versions. And these other ones, we're not making anything for these devices. And for consoles, you need a special Unity license. And so that's it. We're barely going to just use this one, PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. First, you need to go into Player Settings, and you might have to tweak a few things. First, you'd want to keep the defaults at full screen and native resolution, and support the aspect ratios of 16x10 and 16x9, because our game is only works with 16 by 10 or 16 by 9. Actually, only 16 by 9 because this is the only one we built it for. So, also disable the display resolution dialog. And once you have those settings like though, like that, you can click build and run. So something important you need to know is that you never build in your assets folder. So it's best to create a new folder and build your game there. For this one, I'm just going to name it pong.exe. When I click save, it will compile scripts and it will start the program. Also, the reason why you don't want to build in your assets folder is that you'll get this weird error that says a file is binary when it needs to be a text file. I'm not entirely sure what causes it other than, well, I don't know the technical specifics of why it happens. I assume it has something to do with how Unity works with exporting projects into executable files. So anyway, here we are with our Pong game. Now, as I said before, the quit option doesn't work in editor, but now that we're in an executable file, it works. So I'll just go back into my game and show you that we can play Pong. All right, so we have our ball moving back and forth. We have the player being able to hit it in two different directions. We have our scoreboard updating, and we even have a game over screen. So, thank you for watching me this tutorial series. I am not entirely sure what I'm going to do for the next one, possibly breakout or a platformer game. So I hope you stay tuned for the next one because I will be going more in depth 
with Unity's core features. And I will go over stuff that we haven't done before. And we'll be creating a much more complex project that will hopefully be of interest to you. So, once again, thank you for watching. And I hope you check out my upcoming projects for Unity tutorials. Goodbye.